self-love bomb. Okay, I'm going to be honest. After all these years, I still have trouble with self-compassion. My pattern is I'll be having a hard time because sometimes life is hard. And instead of being compassionate towards myself, I'll get mad at myself for being such a wuss and not just sucking it up. I think a lot of people have this attitude. And the truth is, it's toxic. It's a kind of self-hate that grows, that festers. We have this weird double standard where we think it's okay to be harsh with ourselves. The problem is that harshness ends up coming out against the people closest to us. We can even develop a bit of a cruel streak. I've seen it in myself. Now I deliberately force myself to exercise the muscle of self-compassion. When I'm having a hard time, instead of being self-critical, although sometimes I still end up being self-critical and it takes me a while to notice, but when I'm on my game, I stop, I notice what I'm doing, and I deliberately do the opposite. I say to myself, hey, little brother, it's okay. And I send in some love. And it makes a big difference. I actually feel emotional just talking about it. So let's send some love to you, from you. And if this language makes you wince a bit, then you need to do the meditation twice. Okay, so eyes closed. We can start with a few nice deep breaths. So feeling the body expand on the inhale, the spine lengthening and stretching up. And then on the exhale, that's like the letting go. So just breathing out nice and long, letting the face soften and the shoulders drop. And it's like we relax into the posture. With each out breath, settling, letting go of tension in the face and shoulders. And also see if you can let go of any uptightness about doing this meditation. Any judgments you may have around it. What does it feel like to just stay open here? Self-compassion starts with acceptance. So we're going to start this meditation by accepting whatever's going on with us in this moment, however we are. Also accepting the imperfection of the situation, the sounds, the distractions, all of it is allowed to be here. This is equanimity. Okay, so now let's light our compassion match. We'll start with someone else first to kind of get us in the zone. So bring to mind the image of someone you like, a friend, a kid, a pet, someone you want to be happy. I like to imagine my six-year-old nephew who says the most hilarious random stuff. So you can imagine your person or your animal, you think of them being happy, and you notice how that makes you feel. If it helps, you can recruit some visualizations here. Like you can imagine your heart kind of igniting like a match, radiating light. Or if that feels cheesy, just stay with the idea of your happy person. What matters here isn't any kind of particular sentimental effect. It's more about your intention. Your intention to just wish someone well.
now we switch it up and we turn this compassion backwards onto ourselves. The idea is that, yeah, we all go through hard times. Instead of ignoring this, we can actually have enough self-respect to notice we're being impacted and send ourselves some caring. To do this, we need to be a bigger person. We need to pop out of our normal response and find a wider perspective. It's from here, this wider place, that you send yourself some caring. See if any of these phrases land for you. May I be well. May I be strong. May I feel peace. Choose a phrase that works or make up your own. You can use a variation of my phrase like, it's okay, little brother, little sister, little gender, non-binary human, whatever. And as you're doing this, it really helps to stay light. Like it doesn't need to be a big deal. It's so reasonable. It's like, yeah, I want to feel better. Who wouldn't? In the exact same practical way that we care about our friends, we're extending that same care to ourselves. Try it even if it feels awkward. And again, we're not concerned here with creating a particular effect. It's more this new muscle we're strengthening, the muscle of caring about ourselves so we can take better care of others. Keep going. Okay, if you get distracted, just return to your phrase or your visual image. One more minute here. May I be well. Or, it's okay, little brother. It's okay. Whatever creates a bit of tenderness in you. And finally, drop it all and just take some time to do nothing. That's also a very caring move. 
just being here is enough. Often when we feel like crap, we put a knife into ourselves for feeling that way because maybe we think it's selfish or self-pitying or who knows what, which of course just makes us feel even worse for longer. This whole neurotic drama is a complete waste of time. Way smarter and more efficient to go, oh, I'm in pain. Feel better, little buddy to send yourself some care, even for just 10 or 20 seconds. And guess what? That can make you feel better. And it helps build compassion for everyone else too, since this is the human condition and we're all in it together. RuPaul said it beautifully. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Thanks for being here.